This is an IBC tote. They're very common. Uh, used to carry various types of liquids, chemicals, syrups. You can get food grade. You can get ones that um, have had chemicals or fertilizer in it. You need to be careful with. This one I got on Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace, for $75 that they use to water their garden with. It's in great shape. My intent with this one is to make a economical hay feeder for the sheep. Economical is one part of it. The bigger part of it for me is the fact that this thing's very light, particularly when I take the plastic out of this. It's going to be really light, and it'll be easy to move considering I move the sheep quite often in their paddock setup. This particular tote, the prior owner has already outfitted it with a coupler that allows a garden hose to be attached. It has an on-off valve here. So what I plan on doing is removing the plastic container here, and I'm gonna use that in the back part of the farm where I have talked about putting pigs here in the next couple months. But for the sheep, what I need to do is take off these two bars here and here, and then I am going to cut here and here all the way down I will leave this bottom row here for stability, and I'll leave the top row here for stability, but also that is what will hold this part of the hay feeder together. In other videos I've seen, some people leave the bottom row, some people take the bottom row out. I'm gonna leave it because I think it adds stability. I think the people that have taken it out have been concerned about the sheep getting their feet hung in it. So I'll keep an eye on that. I may ultimately have to take it out. But I did notice when people take that bottom row out, it um, has to be braced up additionally to keep it stable. I believe this should be all the tools I need at least to get it apart and cut. I do have my DeWalt cutoff tool here and a DeWalt screwdriver or impact driver. One thing I would say about, as a public service announcement, about electric tools, it doesn't really matter what brand. I happen to like DeWalt, there's Milwaukee, uh, Craftsman, Ryobi, whatever it might be. One thing I've learned, pick one brand and stick with it. That way all your batteries are interchangeable. And when you start buying these products, what you find, you're really paying for the battery. A lot of times the batteries cost as much as the tool does. At this point, I've cut down the sides, and like I said, I left the top and the bottom. I've cut it around on all four. Next thing I will do now is on both sides, I need to take out these bars here that will allow this to swing inward. All right, I've got all my cuts done. You see right here, I cut, I left this bottom rail and I cut the bars that were going right here. That means that this can now 
swing in. When you just connect these together, <clears throat> surely one of these will fit. Hey, right here's the finished project. I'm really glad I went with these hose clamps here. It's got it really, really secured. We'll take it up there and see how it works. That'll be the moment of truth. This is just a few minutes now, and they're figuring it out. I think my initial reaction is uh, rather positive. As always, I appreciate you watching the farm blog, and I appreciate the support. You can find out more at tuffychasefarm.com. Everyone have a great week.